Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Today we are outside because despite it being the end of June, it's a glorious day. It rained last night and a little bit this morning even into this afternoon. And instead of being 110, 118 that it was the last couple weeks, I think the high today was like 97. It's pretty humid, but cloud cover, a little bit of breeze, been a great day. And I just got back putting on about another eight miles on my electric skateboard. I thought I'd do just a follow-up uh, on my board. So I have the uh, Yiku uh, GT, or it's the DIY e-board uh, GT, or uh, offer AT board. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description down below. Um, DIY e-board OEMs this board for a lot of different companies. So you, if you see these tires, or you see this board on a lot of different, uh, different ma manufacturers, a lot of different companies, that's why. Uh, DIY eboard actually makes it and then slaps a different uh, grip tape on it for depending on whomever is selling it. So I bought my original one from DIY eboard, put, or excuse me, from Yiku, excuse me, bought it from Yiku, put about a thousand miles on it, uh, but then was hit by a car, it was run over and it broke. Um, and I've had this one for about a year and a half now, uh, not quite, uh, but about close to a year and a half, uh, and it has been an excellent board. So uh, I don't think I have quite a thousand miles on it, but I'm, I'm pretty close. I ride it literally every single day. Um, and then I have days like today where such nice weather from basically drain the battery, put on the charger and if I can go out, I'll go out again tonight um, and just enjoy the beautiful weather that we've had today. So uh, like I said, I want to do a couple of updates, um, give some suggestions uh, and recommendations if you want to buy this board, or if you're thinking about this board. So. This is my fourth electric skateboard that I've owned. Uh, I first had a super cheap eBay one or Amazon one that I bought. It was like 150 bucks. Uh, they don't sell them like that anymore. At least I haven't seen one in a while. Uh, they sell. They start at like 300 bucks. A little bit better than what I had, but not not a whole lot. Then I had a Spadger, which I think in itself was a rebranded DIY board. Now that I think about it, uh, it was like a Meepo clone. Uh, very basic board and it was really nice up until it just died and I replaced the battery on it and it was great again for a little while and then I got it wet like I went through a puddle that I couldn't get around it had rained or something I uh, went through a puddle and then it just lost all of its performance so I sold it and that's when I got my Yiku and then this one which is basically the same board just again uh, so as far as this board if I had to buy a new board today, um, honestly, just straight up, is my own money talking, I would be hard pressed to buy a board that isn't this board. I've had such a good experience with it. It's been such a reliable board for me. I have a ton of miles on it, ton of charge cycles on it. Uh, it takes my weight, I'm, I'm fatty, so you know, I'm about 270 pounds, and it takes my weight fine. Uh, I can get up to 19 miles an hour on the bigger AT wheels. I could go faster on the smaller ones, but I prefer the AT wheels. I actually threw away the other ones. Um, I, uh, it, it, it hauls me around. Now I can't go up like super steep hills that are like grass, right? It just sinks in. But we have a couple of pretty steep, steep hills around my neighborhood and it takes me up them on the sidewalk just fine or on the street just fine. Um, it, uh, it's actually been a great board for me uh, for commuting for fun, for everything. Really like it. Now, a couple things. These are the original tires that came on my board, and these are some replacement tires that I purchased. I just want to show you these. You can see how worn out these are. They're worn down in the center. There was a, a, a center rib, kind of like this. Um, so when you buy a car, the factory tires that are on that car even if there's a equivalent brand and model on the uh, secondhand market, those tires on the brand new car, oftentimes, I won't say every time, but the vast majority of the time, will actually have a different tread compound and tread depth, uh, and even a slightly different tread pattern than what you can buy of the exact same same tires um, through like a you know typical st tire store. And this is not no different. And the reason for that is they want it to be extra cushy. And these are definitely fairly soft. I can squish them with my finger pretty easily. 
uh, they're extra quiet on the on the brand new car and they get better fuel economy on the brand new car but they sacrifice longevity and that's the case with these is these wore out after a couple hundred miles at best now obviously there's still plenty of tread life left in them uh, i replaced them for a different reason we will go into that here in a minute uh, let me show you just these have probably close to six seven hundred oh not it's not like it down it's six seven hundred miles on them and there's still plenty of tread uh, you can see that they are wearing i like to slide these around corners and stuff and plenty of tread left on them and you can see that the material that they're made out of these are the same material just blue i can't hardly squish that it's definitely significantly harder i'm pushing with two fingers not just one and i can't hardly squish that so these are a lot harder tire you can feel that uh, get a little bit more vibration in the board from the road surface uh, braking isn't as good um, definitely a, a longer braking distance um, but none of that's like extreme like i wouldn't be like i wouldn't be worried about that at all really it's not like you know suddenly my braking distance goes from 10 feet to 45 feet it's you know a couple extra feet whatever depending on my speed obviously so i wasn't I, I i prefer these because of the longevity out of them basically um these are the, the style that came both my boards had this style of tire when i bought it new i think they're replacing it with these when i look online it's hard to tell when you buy directly from diy eboard so something to keep in mind um, i would possibly think about picking up a second set of uh, wheel or tires if you plan on doing a lot of riding uh, I'd also absolutely pick up extra belts uh, these are kind of a, an awkward size at least they weren't readily available um, HTD 3305M so I have several sets of belts because um, I break them uh, not so much now that I'm not riding commuting to work I'm not I'm riding on cleaner roads I have less rocks and debris I'm dealing with another thing to think about and of course you make your hands filthy as soon as you touch them because just because they're on the road you can replace uh, both bearings in the front and the outer bearing in the back with like a standard skateboard bearing if you want to upgrade your bearings but the inner bearing uh, is not upgradable with a standard skateboard bearing it actually takes a, a thicker it's not the right word it it's dimensionally wider um, in the back by a good millimeter and a half stuff like that i found replacements i'll put those in the description but i actually caused myself problems with these because the bearing allowed f the the di wrong size bearing allowed for a little bit of play and it was causing my wheels to tip in and ruined the belt and it ruined the um, pulleys as well these guys here so I had to buy new pulleys and had to replace the belts. Um, but that, I, I put that on me. That was a me thing. I replaced these bearings and didn't realize. I mean, I saw it at the time, but I didn't think it was that big of an issue. It was a big issue, and I shouldn't have done it that way. Uh, so that's a me thing. Uh, battery life, I still, like I said, I put eight miles on it today, and I still had two lights on my remote. It has four lights here. Oh, I pick up another remote, too. Um, I did a dumb and accidentally put my remote through the wash, uh, left it in my pocket and it ended up going through the wash, but um, go ahead and turn this on here. So I, I, I had it charging just now, I took off the charger to do the video, but I have four lights here for the battery. When I ended my ride I had still two um, and when I was coasting or braking it would pop up to three. So I had more than half the battery life left after eight miles. So. I never fully drain it, like I never ride it till the battery's completely toast. Um, but I don't charge it after every ride either. So, stinking airplanes. I live right by two airports, so kind of have to deal with those. But uh, yeah, it definitely is a very, a very good board. Um, I see a lot of people complaining about other boards breaking at the necks here. Um, you know right where the truck is i'm i'm pretty heavy i ride the board pretty hard i don't ride on the best roads all the time and i don't have any problems like that i put this reflective tape on there uh down here too i don't think it, it does any, me any good um i put these bumper ends on the on the edges um 
trucks are straight yeah it's just i think right now their price has gone up a little bit because of covid and all the other crap that's been happening with uh sanctions and tariffs and all the other crap so i think right now directly from diy eboard they're like right at 700 dollars, like 690 something like that the price changes all the time depending on a bunch of st different stuff but it fluctuates right around that um, $700 range. Uh, to get a board I would really want, that would, there, there's enough difference in the board for me to actually want to buy it. Um, be looking at like a LaCroix or something like, you know, a two $2,500 to $3,000 board. Anything less than that, I don't feel like it gives me enough benefit uh, to not just buy this board again. Um, again, that's just my personal experience with the board. I haven't ridden those boards, but as far as like the distance, the type of wheels, the trucks, the type of motors, things like that in the specs themselves, um, in the decks and then the problems I see online with them. Uh, I think this is an excellent board for the budget. Now, Yiku and DIY eBoard, they have the GTS and you can tell it's different in that this has, let me flop it up again. So this has a separate compartment for the ESC down here and the battery pack up here. That one has a full enclosure and has LED lights along the side. I would not buy that board. Um, I've seen problems with that one. So um, I have not seen problems with this one. So at least I'm not seen on, I'm on several forums, Facebook groups, things like that. And I just, anybody who has one of these, if they have them, I don't see people posting problems with them. Uh, but I do see them post problems with the GTS. And it's a little bit cheaper, and I think that's why people buy it, is they're like, oh, it has very similar looking specs, but it's a little bit cheaper. I would go ahead and skip it and buy this one. So I'll put a link to this, both on DIY eBoard's page, as well as on um, Yiku's page. Um, and again, a bunch of people sell this board at different price points. So it behooves you to take the time and do a little bit of research on who sells what where. So um, through Yiku, the board was cheaper after shipping when I first bought it, but then it was cheaper on DIY after shipping later. Um, the, the replacement tires are only available that from I could find on DIY. The belts depends on where you're shopping. The remotes I think I bought from Yiku or I bought the belts from you. Uh, anyways, it just, you'll go around, they're all the same. So you might as well spend the less money for the same product. Yeah, I just uh, spend spend the least amount of money for the, exactly the same product. Um, they sell a bunch of different colors of tires, uh, orange, black, purple, green. I don't think they do red. Um, and yeah, it just, just depends on what's available, who, who wanted what. Um, so yeah, uh, if you have any th qu thoughts, questions, comments, leave those down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer. Thank you for watching and hope you have a great day.